We are making progress in the door. Governor Godwin Obaseki presenting the four brigade flag to the army, thereby signifying flag off of the exercise. Governor Baseki said security of lives and property is crucial if meaningful development is to be achieved. The governor described Operation Steel Water Phase 3 as timely, as according to him, Ember Month is a period of the year characterized by heightened criminal activities and thanked the army for the gesture. Without safety, security of lives and property, people, our investors will be reluctant to bring their resources or investments into any area or community. The Commander for Brigade Nigerian Army, Brigadier General D.H. Ndai, said the objective of the exercise is to prevent crimes in the state and also protect law-abiding citizens during the yield tide. The objective of this exercise is hinged on reading a state of prevailing crimes such as kidnapping, armed robbery, autism, farmer herders clashes, child trafficking, communal clashes, dog peddling, and oil bunkering. The Enuge of Obage Newosa thanked the Nigerian army for their effort and for considering the security of the area. The Enuge's message was presented by the General Secretary of the Community, Mr. Wilfred Otasuwe. I must say without fear of contradiction that this exercise came at the appropriate time. Again, choosing my community as a base is not only a welcome uh, development, or prayer answered for two major reasons. Firstly, it is on record that in this part of this country, Ember months happens to be when the crime rate rises astronomically. Governor Godwin Obaseki was later conducted round the army encampment. The 4 Brigade Nigerian Army Exercise Steel Water Phase 3 also include a free medical exercise to the people of Amagba community in Ikubaoka local government area. Bringing medical care to this community. We are very grateful. We have not seen it before. Give us gladness to know that uh, the military, they are not only out there for war. We they think, say, I'm a wicked. But today, we know that they are not wicked. Civil commissioners, local government chairmen, and other government functionaries witnessed the exercise. Pius Nsogo, ITV News.